Crystal, welcome to the UK, welcome to the World Cup. It's been a long journey here, how are you feeling? Oh, feeling good actually. I was expecting to be a little bit more jet lagged. It's a little bit hard to, you know, adjust to the time difference, but um, in general, feeling really good. Excited to be here and excited to kick off. New Zealand have won the Women's World Cup three times. Second favourites to win this one behind the Australians. Obviously, that's going to be a great clash, but how much expectation have you got on your own team to, get to perform in this competition? Yeah, obviously always have big expectations from your own side and um, you know the girls have been training hard and we're, we've sort of come together as a collective really well so um, you know don't want to put too much expectations on them or pressure, additional pressure that they don't need but um, I'm, I'm expecting that the girls you know will come to the party when they need to. New Zealand obviously we all know is a big rugby nation, the All Blacks and whatever but how big are the, are the ferns and how big can the ferns be? Yeah, I mean, you know, when we were travelling here, to be honest, they thought we were the Black Ferns. So there's a lot of hype around our Black Ferns, and you know, that comes with earning the respect and earning that, um, you know, that title that they have done so over the years. So, um, you know, the Ferns will make a big name in the future, and you know, winning things like this is how you do that and creating history. And you know, unfortunately, back when they won the three World Cups, that you know, there wasn't much exposure in our rugby league game. So, um, you know, things are changing now. So hopefully, we can do our country proud. How important are things like the, the NRLW coming in and, and payers being played a little bit of money and, and that exposure in Australia, how important has that been for the development? It's been massively important. Um, you know, there's been so many years that women have had to pay their way in rugby league and you know do things vol you know voluntary. So it's it's, a, it's exciting times to see that the game is evolving and you know that in the behind the scenes that you know they're actually doing work too, so that our women can be paid and it's the de deservingly so. So I'm so excited for what the future generation may hold, especially with how equality is becoming more evident now. That is the thing about this time. It, it's a massive step forward, but there's still plenty of step forwards to go. Yeah, exactly, and you know. It's step by step, just like anything, we can't expect to just jump straight to the top and be equal with the men when we're sort of just making our way. So it's just good to see that, you know, there's gradual changes every year, there's, it's evolving more and, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the men. So, you know, in years to come, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what our future generation will be in regards to equality. First up, you've got France here in York. What do you know about them? I know nothing to be honest and you know that's a scary thing at, at the same sense because you know it's the unexpected um, when you have nations that you can study and um, you know watch video, video footage of um, that makes it a little bit you know you know what to prepare for when you don't actually know anything about a nation that's a little bit more scary but um, you know it's exciting times as well and we're excited to play um, France in our first game. It was supposed to be last year of course, has the delay changed anything in terms of plans for New Zealand? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's sort of changed things in the way that you know players that would have played last time that are not available through injury, through having babies, through whatever it may be. And um, you know that changes the dynamic of a team as such. But you just you know roll with it, and you just have to do what you can with who's available. Um, and you know the coaches have done a great job at selecting. And our coach said, you know, he's picking players based on being good people, not just good players. And I think he's definitely done that. I know this will sound stupid, but I almost have to rewire my brain because I don't factor in things like people having babies as a reason to not play in a tournament. <laughs> he's, he, he's trying to get used to all these different things. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, just sitting in that press conference in there and there and in the opening, sorry, um, and just hearing, you know, all the stories from the different captains. And, you know, that's what a lot of people don't see is that there's more to footy players than just footy. And, you know, there's so many things going, factors going on in the background for women, such as having babies and such as still having to work full time. And, um, you know, those things a lot of people don't know or think about. So, um, you know, I just take my hat off to any female athlete in the sport that's, um, you know, d d done the groundwork, obviously, the people in the past, but still today, you know, there's a lot of sacrifice that has to be made to be here. What stories are you hoping to make come the end of this tournament? Stories? Holding up the World Cup and, um, you know, getting a fourth title for New Zealand, that would be the ultimate dream. And, um, you know, obviously that's the same goal that every, every other nation has, so it's definitely going to be hard, but that's what we came here to do, and, you know, I hope that we can definitely do that for our country. When you started in your rugby league journey, do you ever think you'd be playing in a World Cup in England and, and in a World Cup in the same, same World Cup that Brazil are taking part in? Oh, absolutely not. To be honest, I didn't even think I would be playing a rugby league World Cup at my age, so um, I'm just excited to be here. So grateful for the opportunity and to see, you know, nations like Brazil becoming a part of the World Cup just shows the evolution of our game and I just hope in future that there'll be more nations like Brazil that get to represent in, in, in this competition for the first time.